20 years ago this week, Muhammad Ali returned to Louisville to host an international boxing tournament bearing his name. Organizers hoped the amateur tournament would be a success, but instead, it was a flop. We rewind back to that tournament week in tonight's vault. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! September 1997. Louisville was ready to rumble. Muhammad Ali was coming home, bringing an amateur boxing tournament with him. It was called the Ali Cup, and it was the first time an international boxing tournament had been held in the U.S. outside of the Olympics. Bearing the champ's name, held in his hometown, everyone thought the Ali Cup would be a sure knockout. During the week-long tournament, the fighter that traveled the world stayed true to his roots, visiting Central High School, where a young Cassius Clay attended decades earlier, bringing joy to the children who surrounded him with admiration. In their eyes, a real-life superhero walking among them. He hugged me. Uh, I wish my parents could be here to see it. I know they would be proud. That's my mother's favorite boxer. Muhammad Ali was present almost every night of the tournament, stirring ovations from starstruck fans. But while big crowds were the expectation, low turnout was the reality. Most nights, hundreds of seats stayed empty at Commonwealth Convention Center, and organizers blamed the low turnout on a late start to ticket sales. During the semifinals, only about 1,100 people passed through the turnstiles. People here are enjoying themselves. It's really something to see. Here it is in our hometown. So we could take better care of. The Ali tribute on the final night of the tournament brought in a modest 4,000 spectators, some of them eager to see boxing's warring warriors. Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson were expected to meet face to face at the tournament for the first time since the notorious ear bite just three months earlier. But at the last minute, Tyson didn't show. You know, you're always disappointed if someone can't make it. But I understand that there were mechanical difficulties. And uh, I, I firmly believe that Michael has tremendous respect for Muhammad uh, as a boxer and as a person, as a humanitarian. I really don't think he would do anything intentional to stand him up. It's rather disappointing that he didn't show up. Uh, I thought it would have been a good opportunity to him to make up and speak with Mr. Holyfield and straighten out any problems they may have. See Muhammad Ali is, is the greatest. That's really, that's really why I'm here. I wanted to see Mike, but Muhammad's the best. Organizers ended the tournament with optimism. We'll do everything we can, they said, to be back next year. But 1998 was met with deliberate silence from the promotion. The Ali Cup was down for the count, another page in boxing history. More than 20 countries were represented at the tournament. The goal was to raise $1 million for what was then known as the future Muhammad Ali Center and for several youth boxing programs.